Welcome to the West Division Speech Contest 2015. I am your West Division Director. My name is Calvin Gibbs, and I just want to say thank you all so much for coming out because if you wasn't here this evening, we would still have to have this, but we'll be doing it for cheers. <laughs> I have been waiting for this day since July 1st because as West, West Division Director, this is my first official party to throw for the district. So I'm just happy that you guys are with us this evening. Please sit back and enjoy yourself. We're going to have an electrifying evening of evaluations, some hilarious, humorous speeches, and then we're going to take a break and have some food. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce your contest toastmaster for this evening, and Sonia Gibbs.
I'm sorry, I'll start it over. V U I L L E M U I R. Again, that's V U I L L E M U I R. Our second contestant for evaluation is Neil Fuzzle. The last name is spelled F is in Frank. O O T is in Tom L E. That's Neil Fuzzle, second contestant. Third contestant is VJ Chinasami. Chinasami is spelled C is in Charles, H I N N A S A M Y. Again, that's C H I N N A S A M Y. Our fourth contestant is Kathy Anton. You need me to spell the last name? A N T O I N E. A N T O I N E. And our fifth contestant in evaluation is. <coughs> Bless you. Frank Hesser. Again, that's Frank Hesser. H E S S E R. In order for our evaluation contestants to compete, we need someone to speak for them. Please help me welcome to the lecture Melissa Meyer. Attribute the ability that we have 
to live where we want and shop where we want and eat in whatever restaurant we choose, go to whatever school we desire, thanks to those young people that were willing participants in the process. We also gained the ability to not have our right to vote taken away from us. Our right to vote, our one vote can make a difference. Participating in the process, using that one vote, our voice. There are many stories about one vote making a difference in the process. Oliver Cromwell taking control of England, Andrew Johnson escaping impeachment, German not becoming the language of the United States. Now I have to tell you, all of these stories actually are false. However, don't be discouraged because your one vote <laughs> added to my one vote, added to the one vote of all the people in our spheres of influence, does make a difference when we participate in the process. Our vote does make a difference. It may not seem like it always makes a difference in the outcome of the election. However, it will always make a difference in us because we've taken a stand for our beliefs. We've spoken up. We've used our voices. We have rebuked the saying, if you're not willing to stand for something, you will fall for anything. We participated in the process. I'll leave you with one final quote from John F. Kennedy about participating in the process. I would beseech you, my fellow Toastmasters, my friends, to follow the words of John F. Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. And be sure that you always participate in the process. Madam President.
was cooking at Los Angeles Institute of Chicago. Okay, how did you travel as a chef, or you just went to school? school so that we could learn how to really make it work. Huh. That sounds good. Very good. Wonderful. Can you tell us a uh, hobby that you can enjoy other than cooking? Yes, this tape will be videoed. This contest is being videotaped and will be made and posted at the fall conference. Uh, two of our contestants have chosen not to be taped at this time, which they need to be nameless, but a private link will be made available to all contestants within 48 hours after the posting of this contest. If you need access to it, uh, email me or your division governor and I will gladly provide it. Thank you.
the winners for the evaluation humorous contest today. Right. They will be going to somewhere where we can soar ideals. Soar for success. And that will be the fall conference Woo on November 7th. Yeah. Yeah. nice colors. For our fall conference, we have Craig Valentine, 1999 World Champion Toastmasters, is going to speak to us about soaring for success. Yeah, yeah, and you can come too. <laughs> so I want everybody to know that he's going to be there. Has anybody achieved an uh, educational award? By show of hands. Okay, that's good. Well, you know what? You're going to be invited for breakfast on District 30. Woo! So if, you, if you're going to get a nice invitation, please, when you receive it, please respond. Because if you don't respond, guess what? You're going to get to the table at 7 o'clock, and we're going to be like, oh, we don't have your name on it. So we want to make sure that you respond, and you get your breakfast, and you listen to Craig Valentine. Because he's going to be doing a special special presentation just for the Chiefs. And then from there, we're going to go into our banner parade. Everybody has their banner. Please bring it, because you want to really give your uh, club that honor. You say, yay, we're yay. <laughs> and if you walk down, we'll say your name, and then you just be proud of your club. Because we're all proud of our clubs, right? Right. right. Yes. 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 So then after that, we'll go to our business meeting. And then we have some educational sessions. If you're not like a VP of Ed or officer, good education says we have some good speakers. Then from there, guess what? We get to hear Craig Valentine again. So we get double doses almost. From there, we're going to go into our red carpet, give some awards from last year. And you know what? I just forgot something. I'm just saying all this, I'm forgetting a really important thing. Contest. Oh, contest. Humorous and evaluation district contest, right? If somebody wins here, you want to see what they're gonna, what's going to happen if they win the big one, right? So we're going to have in the morning, we're going to have evaluation. In the afternoon, we're going to have even humorous. And if anybody received a DTM this year, you will be honored that evening after the humorous contest. So see, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. You got to be there. And by the way, what? Excited? Okay, I'll be excited for everybody. <laughs>
conclusion was succinct. We knew when you started it. And as I gauged the audience, we kind of leaned in a little bit because we heard that you were going to summarize with a quote, and we were ready for that. And your conclusion, as I like to think of a speech as a nice gift, it bowed up at the end. So you just put that little conclusive bow on there, we knew it was going to be ending. Just a couple areas for growth. It's good to have a pregnant pause when we're speaking, but sometimes the pauses were a bit too pregnant. So sometimes we want to think about maybe a five month pause instead of a nine month pause. Because sometimes it makes us think that maybe you forgot something. So we don't know if we're a little confused, so just work on your pausing. And maybe get to the main idea right from the get go. As you said, we get to the different parts of your speech, we got what it was about, but I was a little unclear at the beginning where we were going, what it was going to be about. You had just a few memorization snags, which I think can be smoothed out with just rehearsal. And in a verbose world, I love to conclude with a one-word summary. And my one-word summary for your speech is purposeful. Excellent job. Our second evaluation contestant, Neil Fool. Neil Fool, our next second evaluation contestant. Which would emphasize and 
and then go soften some spots. And the call to action, think of what you could do for your country, and not just what the country does for you, and maybe fortunate. Adding that, and then the call of arms, let's get to action, one vote, shows how important it is to be a citizen and do our duty, and get out there and vote, because that one vote will matter at some time. And you highlight I enjoyed that very much, and I look forward to hearing more speeches from you. Fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, especially Melissa. What a great way to start your speech, right? By asking them, asking what you involving all the audience. So what I liked your speech was the entire story. You told three stories. To start with, she started a story about story about Ansonia's labor parade. A great way, a personal story she heard, and Sonia was her friend, a friend's story. So from there, from Ansonia's story, she moved into Birmingham, Alabama. That story, a personal story. She went with her oldest son. And from there, she moved to the, the third story about the, the voting. So the excellent organization, so why I liked your speech was, your organization was super. We all need a better organization if you want a better speech. Don't you agree? A better organization helps you as a speaker <coughs> as well as the audience to get to know each point. So that's why I really liked your speech today, Melissa. To think about two things that I can improve, just two things, because it's already a very good speech. One is your organization was excellent, but I want you to stage it, the first point over here, and then the second one over here, and then the third point over here. Three places. And then you and you can call back to those places to call back those, uh, those points. And the second one I want to tell you was your transitions. You already had a very good transition. To make it better, uh, when, you, when you move from one point to another, I want you to say, next, now, or to moving on. So those kind of transitions were to take the audience from one place to another. In conclusion, I want to say, Melissa, this was a wonderful speech from you. I really like when, when you said, I beseech you to think about the JFK's code. When she said that, I want to go and go for voting immediately. <laughs> I felt that to do it immediately, and that's the effect. As a speaker, you need to make sure to send that kind of strong message, and you really persuade me to go vote for it as soon as possible. So that is why I really liked your speech, Madam, Gen uh, Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>
fifth evaluation contestant, Frank Hesser. Frank Hesser, our fifth evaluation Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests, most especially you, Melissa. Thank you for your wonderful speech. You displayed great eye contact. You had great hand gestures. You had a great <coughs> smile throughout your entire speech. You had very good moves. <coughs> and you had very good stage presence. You are already a very good speaker. The purpose of Toastmasters is to help a good speaker become even better. The purpose of speech evaluation is to praise you for your great strengths now to make suggestions to help you to be even better. Build upon those great strengths you already have. Make incremental growth on each and every one of them. For instance, when you did move, did have great eye contact. You had it in your head, oh, I don't want to trip over these things. So just give a quick glance down, know where they are. And then as you move, keep the eye contact with your audience. Know that you've already moved away from the uh, hazards on the floor. The other suggestion that I would like to make is to improve upon your vocal variety. You were pretty monotone throughout, and that's okay. You're, you're a, a, that's just developing. For example, you gave a great attention getting line. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, you paused for dramatic effect, that was great, but then you just repeated the same words. Instead, then say, we the people, raise your voice and draw us in, and we realize, yes, you're talking about each and every one of us. The other thing I'd like to do is with vocal variety is emphasize how you can drive home your main point. At the appropriate middle point of your speech, I want you to get real quiet. And even though everybody's quiet, I want you to say, I'm going to tell you the three things that I want you to remember from my speech today. Everybody listening? My three things are Participate in the process, participate in the process, participate in the process. Now, when you get to your conclusion, and you give that great line by John F. Kennedy, I want you to then conclude. And above all, participate in the process. Everybody will leave, remember, to participate in the process. In summation, great eye contact, great smile, Great gestures, good movement, stage presence. The best thing that I can suggest for your improvement is to work on your vocal variety. You will be a great speaker to an outstanding speaker. Sure, we have all the ballots. Thank you. Round of applause. <laughs> we are waiting for the ballots to be counted. We'll have our West Division director, Calvin Gibbs Jr., come up and make an announcement. He was trying to run out of room. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, excuse me. I'm just okay. gonna, I'm just gonna wing this. Okay. What season is it? What season is it? Contest oh, season. Contest season. Contest season. Contest season. Yes. What, what, what else? Someone oh, said football. football season. Yes. yes. <laughs> but for Toastmasters, what season is it? Contest, Contest season. season. Something Contest. else. Uh, renewals. 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 Yes, renewal season. And yeah, renewals would do when? Uh, uh, right. 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 First, and this is the sixth. So if you have not paid your uh, membership renewal dues at this time, you're a little behind the eight ball. You should try to get them in as soon as possible to ensure, to help your club get that DCP point. Your club needs to have eight paid members by October 10th, which is just a few days away. So talk to your president, talk to your treasurer, or find out how um, you can send your money in yourself, okay? Also, on November 7th, something happens that day. What is that day? Conference. The fall conference, yes. <laughs> Who's going to the fall conference here? Me. Oh, oh. Oh. Yes. That's great. That's fantastic. During the fall conference, it's going to be on November 7th, which is a Saturday. During the morning, 7 a.m. is the Achievers Breakfast. If you have achieved that educational award between the last conference and this conference, you will be invited to a free, free. let me say it again, free, free. 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 breakfast. Yes, yes, yes. Free. 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 <laughs> free. On a Saturday morning, free. Come on now. Free. Yeah. I'm free. Free. I'm free. But not only that, but we have a fantastic day planned. A day with breakout sessions. Our keynote speaker is Craig Valentine. Yes. Who was the 1999 champion of public speaking? He's very dynamic. You can check him out on YouTube. Check out his videos on YouTube. Yes, Barbara is holding the picture up. Yes, she's a group. I'm sure. I'm sure Craig will love to see. And not, not only that, but the winners from the division contest will participate in the finale of the district contest that afternoon. It's going to be a day of just wonderful events. You all are invited, and I look forward to seeing you there. Where is that? And it's going to be at the Willowbrook a Countryside Banquets in Countryside, Illinois. No. It's going to be at the... Yes. 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 Change again? Yes. yes. <laughs> Frank Kessler. That is Frank Kessler. Frank, I'm giving you the latest and the greatest. Right, <laughs> right here. Right here. <laughs> Whatever you heard anywhere, anywhere else, by anybody that told right. me, forget that. Don't let those it's Noah Boy. It's going to be easy. at the Countryside <laughs> Banquets in Countryside, Illinois. Awesome. Okay? <laughs> and you can find out all about it on the d30.toastmasters.org website. D30. Postmasters.org website. Look at the conference. And with that said, we will take, I'm sorry? Oh, the cost. The cost for the conference is $99. $99 for clubs. If your club, pay, if your club pays the $99 before October 24th, it's $99. That means everyone in the club can go for free. Free! Well, free <laughs> And if you're going to pay um, individually, it's $40. And after the 24th of October, it does go up by a few dollars. Again, that's all on the D30 website. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, we're going to have a 10 minute break. There are some refreshments left. The restrooms are down the hall. If you walk, walk down this corridor and around the corner, you'll run right into the bathroom.